First of all, before we start the video, thank you guys so much for supporting my last couple of videos, man. We are almost to the point where we're averaging like 200 likes and, and like 5,000 views on the video. And I know that's not a lot to some people because some people, uh, your other favorite YouTubers, I'm sure that they get more video or video views than I get, but I, I don't get that. So I appreciate you guys supporting little old me for all these years. You've been supporting me, like a lot of you guys have been supporting me for over 10 years. You realize that I started this channel in, and I mean for almost 10 years, I started this channel in 2010. Some of you guys know that I started doing everything in November 2009 on Twitch. Made my YouTube in 2010 and it's been history since then. So we're gonna hit up, we, we, we averaging about 10,000 um, subs a year. So we should be able to get to 100 grand this year, man. But anyway, it is what it is. We're going to do what we got to do, man. Hey, a million on the way. And it, it, it ain't that far away. It ain't that far fetched. But anyway, the way that we going, let's just keep it rolling. We putting in the dog work. Dog work, don't lie. Uh, that line, this line will be launched. My boy Los, we just trying to figure out how you guys can pay him an order from me. I mean, and I, I do the fulfillment or you pay me and then I pay him. But, you know, he may want to get it on the front end because he because it's his line and he wants to be sure that he's getting all the revenue and all that stuff. I don't want to interfere with anybody's money. I just want to be the guy that pushed the shirts out. So when I get with him and we figure out exactly how we're going to do it, that's when the shirts will go on sale and uh, we'll take it from there. But anyway, uh, on to the news, man. Look. The courts are abysmal, ab abysmal right now. The park is just laggy as all get out. I don't know why it is. And uh, we have a few theories. Somebody said it's got to be the cornfield. And um, I'm guessing that they are right because the number one producer on the show, my boy Rampage, sent me uh, sent me this graphic. Go to camera nine, please. Uh, sent me this graphic. And as you can see, the courts that face, that are closest to the cornfield, they just got big X's on them. Just don't play on them because you're going to be lagging beyond belief. I don't know why you're lagging. The cornfield is not even live. It's just stuff. But if we take this and couple it with all the information that we have, um, we know that that court, that the yellow court used to be laggy too. So I know some people can't play on this court up here either. Like Paul can't play on, Paul can't play on these three courts. He can't play on, on the, uh, the orange court the come up court, or the one that says got a one game streak that's five to 16. He can't play on any of those. So when we come to the park, we have to, we, we literally only have a choice to play between this court and this court, because most people can't play on this court. And I'm guessing it's just because of this thing that says playground. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the power lines or something. I don't know what it is that makes it so you can't play on anything. But in the game, we're only, okay, the parks aren't that lit anyway. I mean, just look at this graphic right here. This graphic says, what, 43, that's uh, 50, 60, 65 people in the park? And uh, how many are playing games? So, what, six people on the come up court? Uh, we need uh, six people there, uh, 18, uh, what's that, 18, 24, 24. Like, we got, we got some of the courts occupied, but you know you don't have that many people playing the game, man. It's just crazy to me that um, it's just crazy to me that, it, that that's the case. Like, like why, we already don't have that many people playing the game and then you got two whole courts, three whole courts that you can't even play on that most of the community can't play on. I don't understand why we don't see this as an issue. And maybe they do see it as an issue and they just don't have a real way to fix it, but we've got to work on this. Like, it's not, we already can't play the game. We already can't get games. You got people running around the park and not wanting to play anybody. It's already hard enough to squad up. And when you do want to come in and not get spanked by a team that uh, that's already predetermined, uh, or what we say, a three stack, you might want to go play on the come up court. Come ups can't even play on the come up court. But a lot of them are right now because you can't really lose on the come up court right now because nobody's gonna really shoot you out of the game or anything like that. It is what it is, man. I just wanted to put that out there with this graphic and let everybody know that um, I believe that what they're saying, there is some validity to it because these two courts directly face the cornfield and they're the closest to all that action. And uh, so it, it may be some validity to that. I don't know why. Well, I guess the other reason that, you could, that Paul may not be able to play on this other court up here is because uh, this court has this court has this stuff right here by the, uh, you know, the little sunbrella and stuff like that. So, so maybe that's what is influencing him not being able to play. It's just too much going on over here. 
Uh, but in a in a game where people already don't play, we have to have more than two functional courts plus the uh, plus the twos court. But anyway, on to the next thing. Uh, the boosts were actually given to the people that got them on Monday. A lot of people got them later on that day. Some people got them on Monday. So that ended up being pretty good. Uh, we we do we do know that. I, I don't know if there was a glitch or anything in there, but they ended up fixing it. And because they fixed it, a lot of people got the rewards. You got your rewards. You probably got all your boosts. I think you got like 20 boosts or something like that. And that ends up being pretty good for you. Just depending on whether or not, uh, just, just depending on, you know, whether or not you need them. I buy boosts all the time. I go to the steroid lady and get my roids. So, you know, I'm going to do that. I probably had the boost and probably didn't even notice it. But, you know, if you did participate in Formula One, if you did participate in, uh, in, in the other weekend events, just check your stuff. You should have it by now. Demigod Glitch is real. It's back. And um, I don't know. Like, look, I've seen the videos. I've seen a ton of videos. I've seen how to do it. It's real. I know people that, that have tested. I've not tested it myself. I've been at work, so I, I really hadn't been able to do it. But um, and I, and I wouldn't do it anyway. But I've seen people test it, and from what I understand, it really only works in my career. That's all I've seen anybody do it. I don't know if they can bring it to the park, but I'm absolutely sure that somebody's gonna bring it to the park, and they're probably going to do something. Like the smart thing to do would be would be to do something like like how people are doing. I'm pretty sure that people have already done it. Would do something under the radar that's that's not gonna stick out like a sore thumb that people are gonna notice. Because if you're coming down with all Hall of Fame badges like most people are, you know we we gonna see that stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure that there's somebody out there that's just just sneaking an extra badge in there or something like that. Man, I, it's got to be. Um, but they said, but from what I understand, it only lasts one game, so I don't even know if you can bring that to the park or or something like that. But like I said, the seven three dribblers and stuff like that, nobody know that's that, I'm not that's not what I'm afraid of. I'm not afraid of a seven three dribbler at all. I'm afraid of a, a pure a pure lockdown slasher with a 99 three ball. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of stuff like that. The people that don't make their players stand out, the people that just make little nuance changes to their player somebody that already got an 80 an 80 dunk and then they push it to 84 and now they're getting contact dunks and speaking of that you know they said the animation glitches back also so like i don't know what type of shape this game is in right now like the only solution for this is going to be to ban the people that bring it into competition if you want to break the game for yourself and you want to do it over in in um in uh in in my career and stuff like that that's fine I, I don't care about you doing something in my career because in my career it's not going to impact me even if you get your badges faster in my career you're gonna get your badges anyway I, anybody doing something to accelerate something that they would have gotten in the game anyway i don't care about that i mean I, if i'm if you're gonna get you if you got all your badges anyway i don't care about that you're gonna get them anyway uh, if you just put enough time into the game somebody paying to get the 85 i don't care about that they're gonna get the 85 anyway because they because if they put the time into the game they're gonna get there anything that you can gain in the game that's in the game i don't care if you get that it's things that's, that are outside of the game that somebody's able to get uh that that i really care about that's why i didn't give a, I, didn't, I didn't really care about when people were doing the uh doing the 99 glitch or when they were doing the um or when they were doing the badge glitch i don't care about that you're gonna get your badges anyway those people just wanted to save time and get onto the park that's why it doesn't bother me but if you're doing something that's outside of the game and you're bringing it in and giving yourself an advantage uh that you otherwise wouldn't have just like buying steroids i don't care about that that's in the game so anything that's in the game if you want to buy skill buy skill do whatever you want to do accelerate your badge progress rate Get yourself to 99 overall, but it doesn't matter because skill is going to trump that. But a 7-3 center that can dribble like a guard and shoot, I, I can't beat that with skill. And so, that's not in the game. It shouldn't be in the game. And y'all already know, like, I mean, it's just like 2K back in the day. And, and maybe I'm the only, maybe I'm the only person that used to do this. You ever had that friend that used to beat you all the time? And then you'll just pick you a team, an unknown team, and take, like, one person on that team and, like, Put his stats up because it was your game, and then you'd be like, you know, she ain't gonna beat me this time. I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna take Rashad McCants or, or I'm gonna take uh, Ricky Morton or somebody like that, Bimbo Coles, and I'm gonna make him, I'm gonna push his three up a little bit, and then I'm just gonna shoot threes with him. I'm gonna bring him off the bench so you don't expect that every time I get in trouble, I'm gonna shoot threes. Am I the only one that did that? Bro, I can't be the only one that did that. Y'all let me know if y'all ever did that or turn down the ratings for your homeboy. And make, make, a, make a whole new roster, turn down the ratings for the team that you know he always going to play with, and then beat him, and then be like, bro, 
I, I, I turned down. The, I can't even lie to you. I turned down the ratings so I could just so I could uh, see the look on your face. Those are the type of practical jokes we used to do back in the day, man. You, you knew you put it back in there, he beat you unconscious. But you know, or uh, maybe I was the victim of that because I used to lose my homeboy all the time that had the game. <laughs> TV, I'm coming for it. anyway. Like I said, um. Those things are real. I don't know if people are bringing them to the park. I hope they aren't. But if you do bring it to the park, man, they got to ban those people. It's, it's just no other way. Like I said, if you got something in the game that you were going to get anyway, you a VC glitch or something like that, you're going to get VC anyway. I don't care about stuff like that. That's in the game. You're going to get it anyway. But when you're giving yourself an unfair advantage, I, I, I have a real issue with that. And uh, you're ruining the game for everybody else. And we can't have that. So they're going to have to get rid of these people. They got to get them up out of here. Last but not least, something I wanted to talk about a lot of people have been talking about it. My boy Coyote talked about it. Man Man Groundhog talks about it ad nauseum. The 99 criteria has to be updated, changed to something, man. Like, look, if a player, there's no reason that players should be in wreck with 35 points, 20 assists with an A plus and get a, a, a 97 grade. No turnovers getting a 97 grade. Like, bro, that's that's that doesn't make good logical sense. You played well, you involved your team, you were great. And now uh, here's your reward. You lose stats. Or somebody like me, I'm the ultimate wing player. I'm the ultimate team player, the ultimate support player. And, and I got 30 points, five rebounds, five assists, two blocks, and a steal. Six steals I think I had that game. 98.8. What? Bro, I didn't miss. I missed like three shots the entire game. I still get a net. That's a 99.9. .9, and I'm a wing player. I'm just a support player. But, you know, it is they're shooting, shooting six for eight from three or like eight for nine from three. Maybe I shot three for three. I don't know. I'm about to pull those stats up. Well, uh, if you want to see that game, let me know. I'm going to put that in the, in the video today. Anyway, but like the criteria for 99.9 .9 has to be changed, man. It makes people not want to play with their friends. Me, I don't care about it because I'll go to my career and get my 99 back right after the games and stuff. I just want to have fun. I just want to win. But when you get penalized so heavily for losing, you get a straight 95. And then even when you win, you still may get penalized. It doesn't make good logical sense, man. We got to do something about that. It, it has to be done because you can go on a streak. I can play with T. Mizzle all day long. We can streak all day by the time we get to the end of that streak. I'm just playing my position, doing what I'm supposed to do. I may be, I might be like a 97. And it doesn't make good logical sense that I've played team ball all day long done the things that my team wants get an a plus every game and i'm getting 97s it doesn't make sense we got to do something about that let's just look at that 2k see what we can do about it for the people that play team ball there has to be something in the game for them the center is always going to get a 99 just about he's going to get boards he's going to get blocks he's going to get shot contest the, the lead guard is always going to get a 99 he's going to get buckets and all that stuff but the sec but the, you know the, the the traffic cones as it were we need some for us too bro we need something. We, we're team players. we the ultimate team players. You can say we're more team players than the people that got all the stats. Come on, man. Man, come on, man. We need something. Anyway, that's all I have for y'all today, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you agree or disagree with any of that stuff. Put 99.9 in the chat. If uh, if you feel like that, or put 97. Or let me know what you what your average grade is. If you are if you're like somebody that just just like a helper person, a support player like I am or whatever. What's your average grade? Do you ever get 99s? Let me know what your best stat line was and your worst grade. So like you had 30 points. 50 assists and all that and still got like a 94 or something like that. Let me know about that, man, because I want to know and so we can see if this system needs to be updated. Also, let me know what courts you can't play on and uh, let me know, put a dog work, don't lie, or a gym star down there if you plan on getting one of these shirts. And I'm going to holler y'all next time. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! Also, if I made the pink 2K all day hoodie, would anybody buy it? Because I'll put it in the store. Y'all let me know. And I'm out. Godspeed.